leaders from China, Japan, and South Korea will meet for the first three-way talks in four years on May 27 in Seoul as they try to revive trade and security dialogues hampered by global tensions. Chinese Premier Lee Chang, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will adopt a joint statement on six areas, including the economy and trade. Science and technology, people-to-people -people exchanges and health and the aging population, Seoul officials said. The summit comes a day after the leaders met separately for bilateral talks with each other. In those meetings, Lee and Yoon agreed to a diplomatic and security dialogue and resumed free trade talks, while Kishida and the Chinese Premier discussed Taiwan and agreed to hold a new round of bilateral high-level economic dialogue. Yun also asked China to play a constructive role with its partners in North Korea, which is expanding its nuclear weapons and missile arsenal in defiance of United Nations Security Council resolutions. North Korea has notified Japan of its plan to launch a rocket carrying a space satellite between May 27 and June 4, the Japan Coast Guard said on May 27. Officials from the United States Japan and South Korea held phone talks in response to the notice and demanded that North Korea cancel the launch because it would use ballistic missile technology in violation of the UN resolutions. Japan's foreign ministry said. Officials and diplomats from South Korea and Japan have set a low bar for the summit, saying it is uncertain whether there will be major announcements, but that just gathering will help the three countries revive and reinvigorate their strained relations. The leaders will agree on resuming free trade agreement negotiations when they meet, Nikkei reported on May 27. China and the U.S. allied South Korea and Japan are trying to manage rising distrust amid the rivalry between Beijing and Washington. And tensions over democratically ruled Taiwan, which China claims as its own.